welcome back to my channel friends I have this 200 watt mini inverter it is 12 volt operated and it provides 220 volt 50 hertz the problem here that it is not powering on it is not providing power output voltage it is giving a red LED the green LED is off and it is giving the error light and it is giving the beep so let's see how we can test it to open it we will open these four screws one two three and four and we will not open these two screws these two screws are for fan and we will also open these screws here and we will remove this screw under this sticker that's for heatsink now I will push it back These are the two output pins for AC and these two pins for the fan and this is our input line and here we have a fuse. Then we have boost section here. Physically the circuit is looking good but we can see we have a damaged IC here we can see this IC is damaged the circuit is looking in some good condition the MOSFETs are looking good we can inspect them there is no damage here is fuse we will check the fuse because fuse is for high power line yes this fuse is open this fuse is open why it is open maybe it has some short circuit or like that for that purpose we can test it by making jumper and if we test the MOSFETs what is the condition here Still no short circuit that's good that is a good sign that there is no short circuit just fuse is open now and then we will continue after making a jumper for this fuse I will connect this one ampere bus fuse wire just for verification if the circuit has some problem the fuse will burn out immediately I connected a jumper fuse here jumper wire for one ampere fuse and we will apply voltage here
still the beep is present that means the the microcontroller is not finding the voltage from this section first of all i will disable this buzzer I remove the buzzer so that it will not disturb with high sound. In the first step, we will locate where is the driver section. If we see this IC, it have two pins here. These two lines are moving towards, it is coming from inside the PCB, so it is reaching here, these two lines. These two lines are reaching here. The output is from TL494 pin number 9. Pin number 9 is reaching here. And this is our pin A, uh, 10. 9 and 10. So pin number 9, 10, these are reaching here at these two points, that means the drive is reaching there. Now we want to check the drive signal. And then we will troubleshoot further. First of all we will see the reference voltage. Now I am connecting the switch. Now let's troubleshoot the circuit. I connected the ground here with the battery negative terminal and now I will turn on the power. DC voltage and we will check the voltage at pin number 12 of this TL494 it is 12 volts. And we will check the output voltage at pin number 13 it is providing 11.2 volt that is wrong that means its internal 5 volt regulator is damaged if this IC is not receiving is not providing 5 volt reference at that time it will not work at all this is the first checkpoint of this IC and we can also check with oscilloscope now we will test the drive signal we will check at pin number 6 pin number 7 6 5 so pin number 7 Pin, pin number 6 it is not providing a drive signal and we can check the output pulse it is low this one is also low so that means when we don't have any drive pulse the next circuit will not work the problem here that this IC TL494 is damaged our microcontroller circuit is working the problem here the volt voltage booster section this TL494 it is damaged important checkpoint always check the pin number 13 it must have 5 volt pin 12 it is 12 volt that is input the same voltage are 11.2 volt it is wrong it must be 5 volt if we don't have this voltage that means its error amplifiers will not work because that will take more voltage at that time the next circuit will not operate it will not create the oscillation frequency here millivolts hertz we will not find any frequency it is zero zero it is not switching the problem here TL494